So today we're going to talk about how you start switching your anxious attachment to get your man attached to you. Make no mistake, this is the very start. It does take work, but when you start, you start to make little incremental steps toward your goal, and that's with any goal. And your goal is A, not to feel anxiously attached to him, and B, to get him to feel very attached to you and give you more of what you want. And most importantly, it's so you do not create what you fear, which is his abandonment. So who am I to talk about this? Well, I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. We're speaking about a very particular kind of attachment, which is anxious attachment, but make no mistake, when many of us fall in love with someone and we don't trust and we don't know where it's going, we can start to feel very anxious. So this can be helpful no matter if you identify with being anxiously attached or you just know that anxiety is revved up for you when you are in a relationship and wondering. Because like in my book, we know that men love through wondering, women do not. We love through knowing and knowing makes us feel safe, secure, and we can feel love under the umbrella of knowing that we have it. Men, on the other hand, they need to wonder. So we take advantage of this to help you with any anxiety that is created from being in a relationship, which it will. Because if you have any programming from your early childhood, make no mistake about this, from zero to seven, whereby you did not get your needs met in a way that you needed. Not that your caregivers were trying to be remiss, but if you were trying to figure someone out, meaning your love interests, your parents, uh, trying to uh, get from them what you needed and you did not in any way, according to your baby self, then you can suffer with a great amount of anxiety. If not, go all the way to having what anxious attachment and there are three different kinds of anxious attachment An attachment style that isn't under this would be secure attachment but the other three disorganized and um, anxious avoidant i'm not talking about those because that's at another level and something that actually i don't uh, tend to work with women who have anxious avoidant attachment styles because it is really something over and above what I do in my coaching. But make no mistake, if it is just anxious attachment that you have, meaning you do not trust that you will be getting your needs met and do not feel worthy of getting those needs met, and I mean in your programming subconsciously. That's all. Because that we have so much power over. We really do. And through a romantic relationship, you can work this out. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips here. This is again, just to start because it is a continuation. It is always being mindful of it in a certain way, and especially when you get tweaked and especially at the beginning of a relationship when it doesn't feel secure to you. You want to start by understanding that a man needs to be pursuing you to feel most attached to you and loving you. It's antithetical to how you feel. So when you show restraint and pull back and don't come forward and put your needs onto him, you will get more of them met. He will naturally want to do this is something you must wrap your mind around because you are female here trying to get something with a man that his natural innate male way of being is to love through wondering and that means you have to be a bit elusive and make him wonder in order to get the attention that you actually desire it's going to tweak you though, because you're not going to trust that if you don't reach out to him and you don't tell him what you need and you don't keep asking from 
him things that you want, it doesn't work. If it worked, you wouldn't be in the situation you're in. You must first recognize that that doesn't work and you holding back and waiting and trusting while you wait that he will come towards you. This is key. And this is where almost every woman that I work with has the most trouble in the beginning, trusting that you are valued enough that he will be coming towards you again. This is fundamental. And you must do affirmations for yourself. I am wanted, worthy, and valuable. My holding back helps my man to come towards me. My restraint fosters his attachment to me. You're not going to believe these statements, but if you write them and you continually put them in your mind when you are tweaked, it will get to your subconscious mind. Repetition helps us get to our subconscious mind because you've got to get away from your conscious mind towards your subconscious mind. Your conscious mind with these affirmations feeds your subconscious and that's what you must do. You must do that. That's a little slow train. A little faster train is by doing sleep meditations because that is when your brain goes from a theta, which is right before sleep, to delta. And in those two states, you have the best chance of reprogramming your beliefs and this attachment style or any anxiety. And you can find a lot of sleep affirmations here on YouTube. You can uh, listen to mine. You can listen to Jessica Heslop's uh, Sweet and Easy Meditations. Jason Stevenson all have I am sleep affirmations. That's what you want in the I am form. Find them, commit to them, and you can help change this if you restrain yourself from going towards him when tweaked. And that is a promise you need to make to yourself and then sit back and say, I trust that he will come towards me when he is ready and most open to being in a back and forth with me, whether that's text, call, or a date. This is such a start. Just take this and run with it. If you need more help, I can help you with this. It is what I do. I help women move through this to a new place with the man that if he's in your realm, likely he likes you a lot, if not loves you, but he needs you to be your best and he needs you to be normally attached to him, not anxiously attached and not act from your anxiety. So let's get this going. If you need more help, uh, reach out to me. You can DM me here, or you can reach out to my assistant, Michelle at coachpaulagrooms.com, or just go to my website, coachpaulagrooms.com. But get started. Don't let this fester. If you've been working on it and it's not working, you can have this reset and restart it in a very short amount of time when you commit to it and when you start and do the work step by step. I trust you got a lot of good information in this video and I want you to have more by subscribing and clicking that red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want even more, there are ways to talk to me. You can talk to me for free on the podcast. You can have a consultation with me. There are several other ways that you can check out by going to coachpaulagrooms.com. I am available to you. Just go now to coachpaulagrooms.com for any question to get my book, to find out about any of my coaching programs, my self-help courses, anything at all that you need. I am here for you and want to give you all that is possible because all is possible for you in your romantic life and you can get what you desire and deserve. I want you to know that. I am happy you are here learning, leveling up, and I will see you in the next video.